Hey, everybody, are you struggling with a repossession on your credit report? Don't miss this next episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast with me, your boy, Tony the Closer. I'll be sharing with you guys five proven tips to remove a repossession off your credit report and help you take control of your financial future. Whether it's negotiating with a lender or exploring your legal options, I've got you covered. Plus, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review on Apple Podcasts for a chance to win $1,000 in cash money. Let's go. Stay tuned to this Game Changer episode, and let's get your ass up. Let's go. Welcome to the Get Your Ass Up Podcast. I'm Tony the Closer. I'm here to inspire and motivate you to never give up on your dreams. As a former NFL athlete who overcame personal setbacks like going to jail and bankruptcy, I turned my life around to become one of the top salesmen in the world. And this podcast will feature celebrity guests, successful entrepreneurs, and my incredible network to give you real world advice on how to achieve success in all aspects of life. Whether you're looking to build a successful business, achieve financial freedom, or simply need some motivation to keep pushing forward, we've got you covered. Man, we've had amazing celebrity guests on here like Dame Dash, T.I., my boy Joe Hayden, and Edrin James, Andre Berto, and more, sharing their stories and insights on how to reach their full potential. Listen, so are you ready to get your ass up and achieve your dreams? Hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss an episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast with me, your boy Tony the Closer. Let's dive in. Let's change your life together. Let's go. Hey, get your ass up, listeners. I got something special to share with you today. Are you tired of feeling bloated, sluggish, uncomfortable after meals? Do you struggle with your digestive issues or irregularity? Don't worry, I found an incredible solution that can help you transform your health inside and out. Good Morning, the detox and gut performance drink by Project AD. The Good Morning drink is a unique blend of powerful ingredients like apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, L-glutamine, aloe vera juice, all working together to, to support your gut health. Cleanse that digestive tract and improve your overall digestion. This delicious and easy to make drink can help you repair and maintain your gut line and integrity, reduce bloating, and improve sens- your insulin sensitivity. Kickstart your day by mixing one scoop of Good Morning with water and enjoy the benefits it brings. Not only will you feel better, but it'll give you yourself that boost throughout the day. Right now, as a special offer to all my Get Your Ass Up listeners, you can get 10% off uh, of your first order of Good Morning. Just head over to projectad.me and use the promo code CLOSER at checkout. That's right. Go to projectad.me, promo code CLOSER for 10% off your first order. Try Good Morning today, and I'm trying to tell you guys, this is something I've been using on my fitness journey that has been an absolute game changer, and I'm telling you right now, the detox gut, man, you're going to be loving it. Now, let's get into today's episode, because today we're going to be talking about something that I've personally been impacted by, and I know what it can do to you. Uh, You ever woke up in the morning, or you've been late on them bills, and man, oh man, oh man, the fear of the repo man. Man, I can't tell you. I remember those days where every truck that you heard, you'd be outside ready to go run and get to your car so you can protect your car because you know that the guy it might be out there trying to hunt for your vehicle. I've been there. I've had multiple vehicles uh, repoed. I've had about three repossessions, and uh, it can be the, the impact on your credit can be crazy. Uh, obviously, like losing the car is already tough because you don't know how you're going to get around, and it's embarrassing and everything else. But more importantly, uh, once you get that repo, man, it's hard to get it off your credit report, and it can stick for a long time. So uh, today's episode is going to be a very, very powerful episode for any of you who actually have had a repo, it's stuck on your credit report, and it's impacting you right now. Um, I've been there, so I want to be able to give you some tips that I've used in the past to be able to get these pesky repos taken off your credit report and put you in a better financial situation. So right now, let's talk about understanding repossessions, right? First things first, like... Let's talk about what a repossession is and how it impacts your credit. A repo happens when you default on a loan and the lender takes back that asset that you finance. And this is a serious negative item that can stay on your credit reports for up to seven years. But I don't want you guys to lose hope because there are ways to actually get this repossession removed off your uh, credit report. So here's tip number one. Uh, tip number one, you want to verify the repo. Before you take any action, you need to make sure that that repossession has been accurately reported. So get a copy of your credit report and check the details. If you find any inaccuracies, you can dispute them with the credit uh, bureaus. Remember, it's your right to have an accurate information always represented on your credit report. Next, step two, 
you can actually negotiate with the lender. So um, this is a big deal, right? Negotiating with the lender, you can reach out directly to the lender and see if you can actually work out with a deal with them. Maybe you can pay off the remaining balance or negotiate a settlement. If you can come to an agreement, ask the lender to remove the repossession from your credit report. It's worth a shot, guys. I'm telling you, it can help you save your, your credit and your score tremendously. Uh, this has been a proven tactic that sometimes these lenders are flexible and they, they will rather get the money instead of charging off the debt. So reaching out to the lender and negotiating with them is a huge, huge way. Uh, another tip is the goodwill letter strategy, right? Uh, with a, this tip three, right? Using uh, a goodwill letter, if you're actually a good customer in the past and you've been actually like making payments, but you had something slip up, you can try sending a goodwill letter to the lender, explain your situation and take responsibility and ask for a second chance. Sometimes lenders are willing to remove negative items as a gesture of goodwill. Next, understand your statute of limitations. Uh, tip number four is check the statute of limitations. Each state has its own laws regarding how long a repossession can actually stay on your credit report. So you need to know if a repossession is past the statute of limitations. You can dispute and have it removed if that is indeed the case. Now, Tip number five, and this is a very advanced dispute technique. Before we close out the episode, like this bonus tip right here is a little known trick that can help you get a repo removed. And this advanced dispute technique is something I use personally to be able to get it off. So here's how it works, right? When you dispute a repossession with the credit bureaus, they have to verify the information with the lender. But here's the catch. Lenders often sell the repossession assets off to third-party uh, collection agencies, so the original lender typically doesn't even have the assets any longer. They, uh, so this is a real, real key piece. They might not have any of the necessary documentation to actually verify the actual repo that they're reporting. So this is where the advanced uh, dispute technique comes in. You can uh, request a method of ver uh, verification, a uh, MOV, from the credit bureaus. This is a formal request for the bureaus to provide you with detailed information on how they actually verify that repossession. If they can't provide you with proper documentation or there are any discrepancies at all, you can use this as leverage to get that repossession uh, removed off your credit report. Now this technique actually requires some extra effort and there's no guarantee that it'll work every time, but it is a powerful tool to keep in your tool belt and in your credit repair arsenal. So if you're serious about getting that uh, repo off your credit report, Try this advanced technique. So here's the steps, right? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by disputing the repossession with the credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Through their online dispute portal, you can do it by mail or by phone. And you wanna clearly state the reason of your dispute, such as uh, incorrect information, a lack of documentation. Next, in step two, you wanna await, await the actual verification. The credit bureaus will contact the lender or creditor and this information related to the actual uh, repossession. The bureaus have 30 days to complete the process and respond to your dispute. Now, step number three of this, right, you have to request a method of verification, MOV. If the repossession remains on your credit report after the initial dispute, you can request uh, a MOV from the actual credit bureau. This is a formal request for the bureaus to actually provide you with detailed information on how they actually verify that repossession with the creditor or lender. Now, step four, you want to review the MOV response. Carefully review the information that provided to you by the credit bureaus in the response to your MOV request and look for any discrepancies, like any missing information or example, like any of that. For example, if the original lender sold the repossession asset to a third party collection agency, they may not have all that documentation, y'all. I'm telling you, and it's a huge, huge piece. And then finally, you got to leverage those uh, discrepancies. If you find any discrepancies of missing information, uh, I mean, a missing documentation in the, in the MOV response, use that as leverage to request the removal of the repossession off your credit report. Send a follow-up dispute letter to the credit bureaus highlighting the, the, the discrepancies and request the removal of the repossession. Now, if you use these tips, guys, these tips are surefire ways to help get those pesky and irritating repos off your credit report once again this is a fireproof uh, way to be able to make sure like you are protecting yourself i know how uh, problematic a uh, repo can be man listen we've all been there we've been a little bit more we all like a little bit more than we can afford at times so life happens and and uh shit just really gets on top of you so 
if you enjoyed this episode, here's what I need you to do. Make sure that you go take advantage of the uh, tips I've given you first and foremost because this really works. I've done it for myself personally because I have multiple repos and I know that it'll get it off for you. Finally, um, make sure that you're not biting off more than you can chew anymore. As you move into the future, make sure like, I know you might want the S550 bins, but sometimes you might need to just get the C-Class and then work your way up. Um, we got to make sure we put ourselves in a great financial position to avoid being back in situations like these. Uh, so I'm telling you right everybody thank you for tuning in to today's episode this episode is all about getting those pesky pesky repossessions off your credit report if you've been enjoying this content i want to make sure that you don't miss any of the new and upcoming content that i have coming and more importantly we are on a rocket right now guys we are in the top 100 in apple in multiple categories top 50 top 10 thank you so much for all you guys your support has continued to help us grow and as a favor to you guys and what i want to do in, in return i mean as a gesture to you guys i'm actually going to be giving you guys a actual dispute my free credit dispute letters if you go to the show notes you'll be able to get access to my credit dispute letters to get all those negative pesky items removed off your credit report and for one lucky follower i'm going to be giving away one thousand dollars so be sure that you subscribe to the podcast on apple your favorite podcast listening platforms be sure that you leave a five-star review and tell me what's your favorite part of these episodes and until next time make sure you get your ass up let's go That's a wrap for today's episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey of learning, growth, and self-improvement. I hope you found value in our discussion and feel inspired to apply the insights we've shared to your own life. If you enjoyed the show, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share it with your friends and family. We're committed to providing you valuable content to our listeners, and our, your support continues to help the growth, and I, I want to over-deliver on that promise. I'm your host, Tony, to close, and I want to remind you to never stop striving for greatness. Keep pushing yourself. Never give up. And remember that we're all in this together. Stay tuned for more empowering episodes continuing our way to success. Until next time, keep moving forward. And remember, get your ass up and make that shit happen.